Hi guys, it's Tarot and Beyond. Today's pick a card reading topic is one that channeled just straight through from Spirit. I was sitting there having my coffee and they said, this is the topic we'd like you to focus on today. And it was carefree living. So I don't really know what the messages are going to be around this or what they want to bring through, but that was very clearly the topic. So let's grab some significator cards together today. And I'm feeling called to this crystal deck. So what are the options here for group number one? Oh my God, those are three cards. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so we'll do them upright then since you can see them. So group number one is going to be Sunstone. Group number two is Shungite. And group number three, Rainbow Obsidian. Cool. All right, guys, those are your options, one, two, or three. If you feel called to more than one, there's multiple messages for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Use the timestamps in the description box or the chapters below to jump ahead to your chosen reading or readings, and we'll see you there. All right, hi, group number one. You chose Sunstone. So the card says, take pleasure in the things you do. And the topic for today we're looking at is carefree living, how to embrace carefree living, how to live more carefree perhaps as well. So right away, Spirit is recommending that you take more pleasure in the things that you do. I'm hearing enjoying life. Yeah, so living a carefree life here is about, and there's, okay, they just said minuscule or minute, minuscule, minute. So I think this is really just about enjoying the little things pretty straightforward message but i they're telling me we're going to go deeper they're saying that there's layers to it and they're showing me like a wi-fi signal like those lines like that connectivity could be important here or enjoying yeah enjoying connecting or enjoying what you do maybe somebody does something here online and that's going to lead to more carefree living or that's going to Im increase your joy and they want you to focus on that because it brings you joy oh okay sometimes when a channel just bloop comes out of my mouth <laughs> okay so uh they want you to focus on that because it brings you joy let's go in with this deck next i'm just kind of freestyling it as usual grabbing decks that feel like they're calling me journey to wholeness this is part of your journey to wholeness and the roots of these of these lotuses are standing out in the, the roots and the leaves growing up. So it feels like this has been a process. So I'm hearing long, arduous, oh, long and arduous process for you, group number one, to embrace, to, to embrace the connectivity, to embrace the things that you like to do, to find the small joys in life, they're saying. Finding the small joys in life. I'm hearing fodder for change. The small joys are like, okay, they're showing me like a pile of Christmas presents. And then it's like this pile of Christmas presents becomes something you can stand on. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. It's like there's this pile of Christmas presents, which which feels like surprising things that come in or gifts that are given to you or things that you get to enjoy. And it's like you're able to use that as like almost a platform where you can achieve something higher or see things from a higher perspective. Hmm. Home. First thing I heard was home is where the heart is. Usually we have Christmas at home, Christmas time could be significant. Live like it's Christmas, they just said. Live like it's Christmas every day. That would be cool, especially if you're someone who likes Christmas or who celebrates Christmas. But I think that the spirit of that is really being about caring, charitability, connection with family and friends, um, receiving enjoying all of the little things maybe even like taking more breaks or having time off could be part of this as well 
home-based. They're saying something about home-based and they're showing me the Wi-Fi signal again. And usually, I mean, we can have Wi-Fi connectivity when we're out and about, right? Sometimes like stores will have it or coffee shops. But most of the time when we're connected to the most efficient Wi-Fi is when we're at home. So I feel like they're talking about you being connected to source here, you being connected to your higher self and how important that is. Your home frequency comes from literally the heart chakra, the heart center. That's what they're saying here. Yeah, we'll get one more. Awakened awareness. No, they said this one too. Okay, 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 okay. Let me move this down then. We'll fit these in. Awakened awareness. Heart consciousness. And this is the... They said the purity of joy is the frequency we wish you to achieve for this will expand all things in life that you desire to achieve. So group number one, this carefree lifestyle, because this is what they're showing me for you, 444 on the recording time. This is what they're showing me for you. This carefree lifestyle can be achieved through joy. So joy is like this portal, this passageway. It's the conduit, they just said, the conduit through which you will achieve great things. So if you're not enjoying what you're doing, then you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot or you're creating resistance for yourself or you're pushing yourself backward. Hmm. Now, this is not going to apply to everyone. This is reminding me of, uh, what is it called? Process versus outcome people. These are different soul manifestation types in the soul blueprint. We have different ways that we manifest based on our soul. And for some people, it's process. For others, it's outcome. So outcome people can kind of put joy to the side for a moment and focus on the goal and then they'll be able to achieve that process people cannot do that if you are a process soul which if you were drawn to this group you are most likely group number one you need to enjoy the process meaning that if you are not having a good time if you're not having fun if you're under stress or pressure most of the time right okay there's going to be moments where you've got stuff going on and it's a lot but if you generally enjoy what you're doing even if it comes with some some difficult or challenging things, you're on the right track. If you if you hate what you're doing, okay, there's a reposition that needs to happen. And they're showing me a frequency shift through this awakened awareness. Heart chakra, they're saying it again. Balanced forces. Crystal codes, they just said, and they showed me the crystal over her or over the top of her head and her crown chakra there. Balanced forces. Something about you is balancing out. Your lifestyle, they're saying balancing your lifestyle to incorporate more joy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see what other cards they want me to go in with. Uh, I'm kind of getting no's on most of these. Oh, I just grabbed these. Okay, that's those are the ones then. I was kind of asking in my head which one is it and getting no's and then my arm just grabbed this one my hand just grabbed this one so this could even be part of your reading as well messages about how to live more carefree it's not even being in your head like getting out of your head about things and just trusting your heart it's your body is like the conduit through which your intuition and your instinct can operate so being able to feel into does this bring me joy or following the path of what your body is leading you to in terms of um making decisions choosing in a more balanced way they're saying okay, they keep saying crystal keys or crystal codes in this reading for you crystal balls could be significant unicorns could be significant diamond consciousness diamond frequency of the heart crystallization sun could be significant solar frequency solar consciousness okay Ten of Wands, it's really, really imperative here, group number one, that you put down anything that is really, really heavy for you that you hate doing or they did just say delegate. So there are certain things that you might hate doing that are involved in something that brings you joy that you can delegate or collaborate. They're saying something about collaboration, balancing the forces. So having somebody who can help you because they like doing what you don't like doing but it helps you to reach your goals. Oh my God, two tens, two, two of the most challenging tens 
that there are in the tarot, 10 of swords and 10 of wands. This means like you've, you've been pretty heavily burdened here and it's burnt you out. And that's why they're saying to live a carefree life, it's important that you connect to the frequency that's going to be the most supportive here, that's going to help you balance this out, that's going to help you to achieve, they keep saying achieve your goals. So there's something important here for you, group one, about achieving your goals and desires. They're showing me wishes. Oh, six of swords. They said moving in a purposeful way moving in a purposeful way with joy at the heart of your being the intention will carry you forward to your desires and dreams that's all channeled directly okay seven of wands i heard step up and now they're showing me the movie cover for step up was that with channing tatum i can't remember. i haven't seen that movie in so long kirsten dunst or something there could be some symbolic or archetypal themes or messages in that movie for you what was that about it was like oh yeah balance it was he was like a street kind of dancer and she was ballet and then they come together and they like merge those two sides together and they create something really beautiful and a relationship that brought them both a lot of joy because they enjoy doing the same thing but in from different perspectives or like in different ways but it's balanced forces there's a a key here in regard to relationships for you, group number one. The right people will propel you forward, I'm hearing. And it's not because you are using them for a leg up. It's because they help you to achieve balance within yourself and that, that they spark more joy for you. Yeah, gift exchange, gift exchange, right? Presents, Christmas, right? It's about gift exchange. You exchanging, this is my gift. This is what I bring to the table. This is your gift. How do they fit together? How can they complement one another? And that increases ease of flow energetically. And, and then that results in your life becoming more productive, but in like a in, in a manifestation type of way. It's not about productivity, like how many how many things can I tick off my to-do list? It's, it's productivity in the sense that you're using your energy more efficiently. Six of Wands, culmination of achievement, I heard. And this is the success card, victory, achievement. It is. So and especially coming after the Seven of Wands, it feels to me, group number one, like you're meant for bigger things and you're meant to step up to the plate here when it comes to this. But first you have to let go of some of the heaviness and the burdens that you've been carrying around that have weighed on your heart and prevented you from fully experiencing the joy of life in every single given moment. It's so important that you embrace joy because that is what's going to get you to the next stage, the next phase, and the right people. Okay, they just showed me airplane mode on a cell phone. It's like if you um, if you turn off your joy, it, it completely disconnects you from everything and everyone. You must embrace joy. They keep, they're really emphasizing that strongly here. Four of Swords. Oh, airplane mode could also be about resting. I know for me, I put my phone on airplane mode when I go to sleep at night. And here we have, she's got her sleep mask on. I was going to say that. I was going to say it could be about rest as well. And then I just kind of went off on the other thing. But the confirmation there of that too. So needing more rest and oh yeah, Christmas is about breaks, rest. You you need more rest, group number one. You guys need more time to just enjoy yourself. And maybe that is doing nothing too sometimes. That's productive too. And I can speak to that. <laughs> like when I push too hard, I just burn out. And I can see that here. That's why I want to, you know, use that as an example. So like if I push myself too hard, first of all, I'm not enjoying the process anymore because I'm already, I'm starting to, you know, I'm dragging my feet, trying to force myself to do it. And then second of all, I'm not, I'm not giving my best and therefore I'm not going to get the best out of it. So the, the, the further I try to push myself, 
the more I'm actually pushing myself in the wrong direction. And so I've had to learn, and I think this is relevant for you here as well, especially if it resonates, to slow down and see rest as productive. So some days, if I'm feeling overwhelmed, I will spend the entire day in bed because I know that that's going to help me to regulate my nervous system. It's going to balance energies out. It's going to help me to tune into myself again, reconnect. And then I get up the next day and I'm feeling my juices are full, you know, the, 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 the battery's charged up, I'm ready to go. And then I do my best work and I'm re-inspired and I'm more connected to spirit. I'm more connected to myself. I'm more connected to my friends and family. I can really show up, you know, I can really step up in a way that is productive in that sense. So rest can be the most productive thing here for you. Ooh, death. I heard death like slumber. What? And they're bringing me to the awakened awareness card. Okay. Death like slumber, awakened awareness. What is this talking about? And it's coming on top of the six of swords too. So this could be about, oh, the moon card. This could be about transitions, letting go of things. Okay, they're saying as you expand awareness, parts of you will have to die. Previous patterns will be released as you move into new and greater territory for yourself and others. Okay, that was all direct channel. Direct channel from source. I feel like you're very connected to um, group number one. Like you're probably very energetically sensitive. HSP, I just heard, highly sensitive person. And this translates also to psychic sensitivity. Those are kind of like two sides of the same thing. Empath, I heard too. Okay, so yes, you're very, very sensitive people in this group. And whoever I'm talking to here, grounding is going to be helpful. Getting adequate rest, that's going to help you live your best life. The Empress here is, a, again, a good indication that you're going to experience a lot of growth. You're going to experience a lot of, I'm hearing benefit, beneficial. Something is going to be beneficial to you connecting with the right people. They keep saying relationships are really important here. Connecting with the right people. This could even be like different parts of yourself as you go through the awakening stages of unfolding, unfolding, unfolding parts of you that maybe you have neglected because you didn't feel like you had the time or the energy to do these things that you love. Light and shadow self integration could be part of this as well. They're showing me a cornucopia clairvoyantly right now. So that's representative of, a, of, of, of ooh, <laughs> why I couldn't say of, I don't know. Or no, it wasn't even of, I stumbled before the word abundance. Okay, do you have some resistance to abundance, my friends, in, in group number one? Do you have some resistance to abundance? Look at that, kind of, I, I, I like poke around in there in your subconscious about what's going on with abundance here. Why, why would there be resistance to that? Why would there be resistance to living an easy life? Spirit just asked me to ask you that question. Why would there be resistance to living an easy life? Okay. Right away, the thought came through. Um, I feel like I need to be productive. I feel like I need to prove myself. I feel like I need to do all the time. I feel like I can't turn off because if I do, then I'll be seen as less than. So don't take it if it doesn't resonate. But if that if that hits a nerve, if that, you know, um, if that sparks something, if that triggers, if that just feels like it's maybe moving through a little bit of resistance internally, feel into your body with this one. There's something there that can be unpacked. And as you move that out of the way or integrate it in a way that you can use that to your benefit, what I mean by that is like when we're doing integration, we're shadow work basically is what this is talking about. We can understand that part of the self and then welcome them in with compassion. And through that action, we are creating more of this home frequency because we're not rejecting any parts of ourself. We're understanding them. And then we're saying, it's okay. You don't need to do that. I'm going to show you that we can enjoy life. I'm going to show you that we don't have to be constantly doing to be productive. I can show you here. I'm going to I'm going to walk with you shadow self or like part of me that believes that that's not possible. I'm going to walk with you. We're going to hold hands and and go into the light together and then it becomes much more powerful your alchemy, the alchemizing they just said. 
transmutation process, integration of the shadow self, alchemizing those fears, those programs, those doubts, those old coding, they just said old coding into something that is actually going to help you to get over the hump here, seeing the higher perspective they're saying, and moving through this portal of death, but Death, death portals are not bad. It's usually because you're up leveling. I've seen that time and time again in my own personal life that anytime I go through a death portal, I start seeing dead things literally around me like little dead animals and stuff. Um, God rest their beautiful little souls. But I, I know that when spirit shows me that or hearses, I start seeing hearses or coffins or skeletons, that it's a death cycle. And it's always because I'm integrating some part of the shadow that has been holding me back. And then I start to level up like right away. So this is what I'm seeing for you, group number one. It's a big, massive level up for you that you're going through in regard to integrating and balancing these forces within you to increase your joy and the productivity of rest and the exchange that you can have, the balanced exchanges that you can have with other people that are going to benefit you and them. It's mutual. They said, take obligation out of the equation. That's the heaviness here. Uh, take the burdens from off your back, they said. Oh yeah, and literally she's got like swords in her back and the ten of swords. Tens are about endings as well, so is the death card. So there's a lot that you are closing out cycle-wise. They said spirit friends, okay? So these could be uh, like soulmate connections and soul tribe, soul family connections that are spirit friends to you that are meant to come into your life to help you. They said equation, something about an equation is significant. One plus one equals two, they said. Two is more powerful than one. Now they're showing me the Wi-Fi signal again, connection, but it also feels like expansion or there's levels to it because, you know, the Wi-Fi signal starts small and then it, it's like larger and larger arches. Ooh, rainbow arches. Connection between worlds or dimensions could be part of that as well. Moving into new realities through these connections home frequency they're saying again these could even be spirit guides or spirit like resources on the uh, friends on the other side that are helping you from that vantage point or helping you to they're saying something about stimulation stimulation of the third eye yep crown chakra could be part of this too that's why they want you to get lots of rest right now you're actually receiving a lot of activation codes group number one so if you're feeling like you need to sleep more or you need more breaks or more time to rest, it's because you're receiving, you're getting a lot of activations at this time, leading up to this time or going after you see this video, depending on kind of where you're at on this time cycle. But what they're showing me is that you're getting a lot of downloads through the crown and third eye. And so you do need to rest. Uh, it's kind of, they're using a lot of like technology references in your reading because they just showed me the example of like when you get an activation energetically it's kind of like you're downloading new software into your phone and so you have to first of all it has to download it so you can't use it while it's downloading and then you have to turn the phone off or let it reboot so it needs time to just rest they did just give me the word surrender so surrendering to that process is going to increase your joy and that's going to lead to more carefree living as well let yourself rest. It is the most productive thing you can do right now. That's what they're saying. They just keep repeating that. So let me see if there's any closing messages for you, group number one. They said, be kind to yourself and gentle with your heart. You will see the process unfolding before you. The people in your life will support you in your goals and you will feel truly connected as one. As it was meant to be, so shall it be. Beautiful. Oh, goosebumps. <laughs> okay, guys, I think that's it for you, group number one. I'm sending you so much love. And I'm really thankful that we were able to connect today because, you know, it's these types of connections that are going to help. Ah, I just looked up and it was two, 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 two. <laughs> I get so excited. Um, confirmation. Love it because twos are about that balance. Oh, and they said one plus one equals two. Then I was just saying, I'm glad we connected today. So here we are. Here we are doing this work that the reading is even describing. I love it. All right, guys, I love you. And uh, we'll see you in the next reading. If you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me, I do have those on the table for the time being. Links to my website are below. If for some reason the link doesn't work, I had somebody comment saying the link didn't work. It worked when I clicked it. But um, if it doesn't for you, you can just type in itstarotandbeyond.com. 
and that's that's the website where the offers are uh if you guys are interested in becoming a member and diving deeper here on the channel receiving more and additional content more deep dive content and even more personalized content on that side because it's a smaller group feel free to check out the membership tiers which i've linked the the, the link for that and the information for that in the uh, description box below as well okay guys i love you thank you for being here and we'll see you in the next reading bye all right. Hi, group number two. Welcome to your reading. You chose Shungite and it says detox your life. And right before I hit record, my nose just started running right away. So, and I was like, why did that happen? Literally like a second before I was about to hit, you know, the, the play button. They, and they, they said detoxification. So it's like these different ways that the body excretes. There's something about energetic detoxification that is going to help you live a more carefree life right now because you've been you've been inundated i'm hearing the word inundated with toxicity in your environment now this could be physical they're showing me the skin sweat it out i heard sweat it out so there's actually like a, a level of physical detoxification that would be help for you, helpful for you to do group number two something about your environment and your skin I, maybe it's like the air quality or something that you've been brushing up against they just showed me like brushing up against something or someone hmm bumping rubbing elbows with what's that saying yeah like rubbing elbows something something about who you're surrounded with could be part of this as well their lifestyle impacts yours i'm hearing so keeping up with your detoxification practices going to the gym sweating it out sauna they're showing me a sauna a hot box a steam room it's like there's something that needs to be sweated out fluids too because my nose was running so something about fluids or fluidity okay 137 on the recording time that's a significant number for you okay let's see i'm gonna go with this deck just intuitively oh there's a couple cards from a different deck that I wasn't grabbing, but we're going to take those. These are goddess cards. Ariadne, mistress of the labyrinth. My soul knows the way and the only way out is through. Labyrinths, mazes, and lightning bolts could be significant symbols to pay attention to right now. Group number two, for some reason, those are really standing out to me. And I have noticed those coming up in the couple of weeks leading up to this reading. So, um... Pay attention to those symbol that those symbols because those synchronicities are going to point the way is what they're saying and it's going to get you out of the out of the maze out of the maze okay something about your environment yeah they're showing me when lightning strikes it like creates this ozone something about ozone could be significant it's again it's like your environment the ecosystem you live in. Uh, but they're showing me when the lightning strikes, the ozone, it's like the, the energy clears the space. I think that's the same thing with rain. It's like a lot of negative ions, which is actually a good thing. We want negative ions because they clear our energetic field. So Spirit's not saying go stand out in a lightning storm. Please don't do that. Uh, but there's something about ozone or like negative ions that is going to help you to also detoxify your body and your environment. And they want you to focus on that because it's going to make your life easier. And that's what we're talking about here. Carefree living. It's going to make your life easier. I don't know how to pronounce that. Zhu Xuan Xing. <laughs> The mystic of peace. I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. This could also be about detoxifying your mind. Yeah. The lightning bolt can symbolize this. Whoa, I just heard the word shriek. Shriek? That's reminding me of Shrieky from Care Bears. Do you guys remember her? Uh, she was like the bad guy or like one of the, she worked for the bad guy um a loud noise could be significant something about loud noises in your environment or using sound to clear your energetic field as well or to detoxify okay these cards keep coming out of the bottom like these were connected to the bottom of the deck this was this came off the bottom so something about the root chakra your home your physical environment and your body that's all root chakra oh yeah right duh <laughs> it's, like, it's all connecting okay let's see 
individuality, you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. Okay. Individuality, you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. Ownership, you acknowledge your misdeeds and, and accomplishments alike and learn to the, love them all as lessons. I st stumbled over a lot of those words there. So there's something about owning your your accomplishments specifically because it started to stumble right here owning your accomplishments could be something to acknowledge here i'm hearing getting out of the maze you don't need to be in the maze anymore they just said this could be about the 3d reality or 3d environments that are very low vibrational or toxic to you you don't need to be in those environments anymore embracing your individuality, embracing the things that you like to do or that you need to do. Something about birth and rebirth is significant. They're showing me birth, babies. Oh, babies are very sensitive. Like you don't want to use any toxic products on their skin because they're fresh and they're new. So there's something about renewal of your energetic field or your body, um, removing toxicity from products or people or your home literally ownership is like owning your space owning your body being in control of that forgiveness you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts so releasing is really significant here okay kindness you are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others i feel like you're an empath group number two i was also mentioning that in group one but in a completely different context uh but for you group two it's like oh my gosh you are a sponge a sponge you have to be cautious with that be like not scared of that like don't let that be a bad thing it's actually a good thing it's just you need to wring out and clean that sponge more often than somebody else might have to so they keep saying sweat it out and they're showing me the wringing of the liquids out of the sponge you need to move your body group number two that's going to help everything work better here freedom you are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness they showed me coming out of the maze into an open field like a big green open field. Again, it's about your environment. And this could be mental, could be physical, could be literal. It's all of the above, they just said. Oh, okay. Literally, it's all of the above. Tolerance. You, you appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. What have you been tolerating, group number two, that is impinging or limiting your freedom here? Uh, thwarting they said thwarting your individuality where are you being too kind too forgiving where do you need to set some boundaries physically with yourself and others or with your um with your daily practices they just said too okay responsibility you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express it's your responsibility to own and care for they're saying temple your body is your te your, your body is your temple and now they're playing john mayer <laughs> my body your body is the wonderland <laughs> so so um this is really about your body your home and your environment group number two if you were drawn to this group spirit really really wants you to take care of yourself energetically it's going to make a huge huge difference and it's going to shift the results you're getting or it's going to shift how you feel in such a profound way that you're going to be able to live more carefree physical ailments removed and released they just said physical ailments removed and released but you have to take responsibility for what individually does and does not feel good for you because what might feel good for you might not be what feel good feels good for other people or what other people can tolerate may not be okay for you they're showing me allergies now it's like some people can go out and eat all this other food and for you it creates a reaction and it's not because there's something wrong with you it's just because you're sensitive and your body is very reactive to things that are toxic so it's 
I'm hearing thank it. Thank your body for telling you when something is not for you because it does so quick, quickly. This is what they're showing me. It's, it does so really quickly. It's like, hey, this is not for me. This doesn't work for me, whether it's a person, an environment or a food or something like that or a lifestyle that you've chosen to get into a routine pattern of events. They just said something about a pattern. Pay attention to the pattern they're saying. You will see what you what works for you and what doesn't. Um, your body is a barometer and they're showing me like regulation. Now they're th showing me a thermometer, mercury in the thermometer rising. Something about heat or temperature could be significant here. Mercury, uh, not eating foods that have mercury in them. Detoxification. Oh my God, you may have mercury in your body, group number two, that needs to be detoxed and they're showing me sweating again sweating it out or using detoxification foods um heavy metal detox could be part of this as well if you're interested in medical medium check out the heavy metal detox smoothie that's what spirit directed me to years ago and once i used that enough times they were like okay you can slow down you don't need to drink it anymore and um but they did direct me to that specifically only take it if it resonates only if it feels like it's for you or you've been getting confirmation of that already. Anyway, um, hashtag not a doctor. <laughs> but but yeah, there, there's something about detoxification of heavy metals and they keep showing me the sweating is like the most important thing you can do. Go hit up a red room or a sauna or something. Not red room, not like red light district. <laughs> oh God. Um, just, just go hit up like a sauna or something group number two because you've got some toxicity in your body that needs to be released and it's going to make everything easier once it's out of the way once it's out of your system they said out of your system and that gets you out of the system they're showing me convict like prisoners um oh penal system something about the genitalia could be significant penal <laughs> or this could be about um I did say red light district. Maybe there's sexual release that needs to happen here, guys. I'm just kind of like putting these pieces of the puzzle together. I mean, it's all about fluid release. So versus fluid retention, they're saying. Okay, checking your fluids, something about that. And they're showing me a dipstick in the oil in a car. Like check your fluids. Is it dark? Is it light? Maybe it's pee. Two? Oh my gosh, we're, we're like really getting medical here in your reading group number two. But this is going to make your life easier. They want you to know this because it's going to make you more efficient. Your body, they're saying your body more efficient at functioning. And it's going to get you out of some kind of a prison. Maybe you felt like your body was a prison because it had so many restrictions or limitations to it. But they're saying you're going to be free. And I got big shivers when I said that. So you're going to be free when you can honor the protocols, the systems that actually serve and support you. Yeah, your physical essence has been drained, they're saying, by too much burden, overload, toxicity, purification. They want you to purify. They're showing me angels now. You're getting angelic support. Archangel Raphael is coming in. He's showing up here. You can see him clairvoyantly with his green ray energy, helping you to heal physically at the Root, they're showing again. The yeah, root chakra is significant here. Root chakra, physical. Lo what? I was gonna say body healing. They said lob, some lobbing something, throwing something, maybe getting rid of something, throwing things away. They're showing me going into somebody going into your their cupboard and throwing away all of the toxic snacks, all packaged foods. Oh, okay, we're getting real, real in depth here. Um. Yeah. For some of you, they're recommending a plant-based diet if you've if you've um if that works for you, you but you have to like it's going to be different for everyone. Like I know for me that doesn't work. I tried plant-based for 7 years, it doesn't work. My body just couldn't function on it. I everything went downhill. Um but they're saying for you some some of you in group number 2 if you've been getting guidance around this or you've had a, an inspiration or an idea to switch to more organic or plant-based or um, like natural raw foods, it doesn't even have to be plants, just plants. It's just like more natural foods. That's something that they're encouraging you. If you're already doing that, you're on the right track. 
Um, again, they're bringing up exercise. They're showing me somebody on an elliptical, you know, one of those ones that goes like this. They're showing me that. This can also be about momentum, like moving, moving the body, but also moving forward in life. They're showing me stress relief. Now they're showing me acupuncture and massage. Okay. This is like a health reading. I, I was not planning on that, but that it makes sense when we're talking about this theme of carefree living. They want you to focus on so, so much on your health group number two, because that's going to make everything easier. Everything will be better because your body will function for you and you'll be able to work through your body rather than having your body feel like it's against you or trapping you or limiting you in any way. Yeah, they're saying making changes to your environment if you've been called to move or to implement something new in your home, they're recommending that because it's going to help you to to shift out of this or it's going to help to detoxify or purify. For some of you, there was something in the air. So if you've been called to move recently or get something that purifies the air in your home, maybe it's literally an air purifier. Um, oh, the ozone thing could also be, uh, Spirit guided me to this thing called, what is it, UVizer, UVizer or something. And it's like this little light that you can put in your room and it shines really like bright, high photonic light. And then it, it uh, kills bacteria and it purifies the air. And it like fills your room with ozone. You can't go in it for like 45 minutes after it's been on because it's not good for you until that dissipates. But you might want to Google research that. I don't have any links or codes for it, not affiliated whatsoever. That was just something that they directed me to. And they just showed that to me clairvoyantly. So that could be something to look into as well. Yeah, because it can help to purify cleansing. Your home is really important here too. Okay. What else? Something about a door. They're showing me doors, wood, wood, wooden doors. I don't know. It's, it's like a, a barrier or like boundaries. It could be boundaries. Doors can also speak to me about portals. Mo moving in different dimensions, you know, like you open different doors, you go through them. Oh, 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 oh. They said door to health, door to health. And they're showing me a key, a golden key in a lock clicking like this and then all this light coming out of the keyhole and you're able to turn the door and open it this is the door to your health activation codes they're saying okay they're bringing in i can feel them coming in so um just so you guys know i'm not just a reader i'm an activator i'm a spiritual healer i'm a reiki master i'm an akashic worker as well i'm a time lord and timekeeper so i can help you to shift and if you were drawn to my channel, if you were drawn to this reading in particular, I'm here to help you shift your physical health. So if you would like to receive some activation codes and some healing at this time, feel free to say yes or consent or nod your head or whatever you want to do. If it doesn't feel like it's for you, you can just you can just ignore this or click off whatever suits you best. But we're going to do a little healing here as well. This came up in one of my recent readings I just did for, I think it was in group three of a different reading that they had me do some healing as well. So collective healing is on the table <laughs> okay so we're just bringing through some reiki for you group number two to help your body to shift and detoxify some of the toxicity they're showing me patterns again so some of the patterns that you were stuck in this could even be like karmic patterns that were negatively influencing your body so we're just doing some clearing and you just pull some of that negative energy out dross i call it d-r-o-s-s -S. it's like a buildup of negative energy Ooh, I did just hear entities. Okay, some of you have had entities in and around your environment. They're showing me closing the door, slamming the door in their face. Yeah, we don't allow that here. Um, I'm also a demon fighter, so okay. So if you got entities, we're going to boot them out. They cannot live here. They cannot be in your home. Um, they're showing me Akashic property clearings. I used to do those for people. Don't offer that anymore, but um, I can help you clear your property just through this video they're saying, okay. So there was something attached to your home or in your property or it came into your home and you weren't aware and it was negatively impacting you. We're booting that out right now, okay? Yeah, you ha they're showing me Gandalf. You shall not pass. <laughs> and um, yeah, fighting that Balrog, okay? So no hell demons or monsters allowed. Anything with ill intent is kicked out. We do not give consent. Any vampires, they're showing me vampires like needing to be welcomed into the home. Get the heck out. <laughs> they're not allowed. 
We're setting some boundaries here energetically and physically for you, group number two, so that your energy is not being drained, so that you can heal. Yes, your body is a miracle. It is a wonderland. It was not your body's fault that if, if it was experiencing any symptoms or illness, it was the environment, it was the situations, it was the patterns that you were in. It's not you. And you will see that now as this starts to clear, okay? Okay. You have the key. You have the key. You are the key. You are the key. Remember who you are. Remember what you are what is possible for you remember what you came here to do remember who you came here to be you are free you are free you are free so mote it be okay sprinkle of magic fairy dust here for you elevation 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 and expansion of your being powerful expansion of your being honoring the remembrance of your true essence of spirit your power is within you it never left your body is a conduit of this power it needs the right resources the right tools and the right environment to thrive so if your body is off take that as a barometer of what needs to change not that there is something broken or wrong with you yeah Okay, group number two, that is your reading and, and your healing and activation. I really deeply, sincerely hope that this has helped. Let me know how it feels, how this resonates, or what changes may come as a result of this activation and healing later on down the line. I'm always curious to know. Um, for your greatest and highest good and the greatest and highest good of all, always in the highest love and light. And so it is. Okay, sending you guys lots of love, of course. Blessings for your healing. Healthy as a horse. They just said and it rhymed with what I said. <laughs> Healthy as a horse. And they're showing me a unicorn. Purification. Yes. Okay. And magic. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you're looking for more personal details or information, guidance, healing activations, I'm, I, I am offering personal readings right now through video recorded format. You can order them through the link to my webs or through the website. It's tarotandbeyond.com. Link is below in the description box. If you guys want to dive deeper on the channel, I also have memberships available, which can give you access to the entire cache of members only readings that we've done up until this point, as well as additional weekly readings and more in-depth topics and more detailed messages because it's a smaller group of resonant souls and uh, live streams as well once a month for soul family. Anyways. Lots of love, guys. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next reading. Bye. All right. Hi, group number three. Welcome to your reading. You chose Rainbow Obsidian, Heal Your Heart. And right before I hit record, um, I was noticing my sage. Okay. They said show it to you. Okay. Um, so sage, there's some kind of purification you're needing to do here to heal your heart. They also showed me... Uh, my crystal bracelets, which these are just ones that I own. I don't sell them or anything like that, but there's something about like the rainbow body. Oh, rainbow. <laughs> I didn't even put that together. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Rainbow. Rainbow is significant here. The rainbow body is your chakra system. Heart chakra is significant here, but it's like, that's just the bridge between the upper and lower centers and energy centers. So there's something about purification or detoxification. That's what lava stone is for of the chakras crystals could be helpful here i mean we're literally using the crystal deck protection could be part of this as well and i also did um a spray of my well it's not my it, i own this but it's not my brand the clear vibrations energy spray this is by vibe tribe notions and um She's a friend of mine and she sent me these. I absolutely love them. This one's empty and the lid doesn't fit. And they told me that was significant for you, group number three. So you need to like replenish your cleansing. I have another one that I actually did use to spray. Like this one has stuff in it. So there's something about you needing to do some cleansing or some purification, needing to refill something, maybe refilling your juices by getting um, some healing going in your energy body your auric field is in need of renewal they just said okay i heard that loud and clear something about the cap not fitting so what is that about spirit protection needing to find the right fit for your protection and that's why they want you to experiment with cleansing sprays crystals sage 
Um, oh, they're showing me selenite now. Let's look at that. Even just looking at them can be healing. That's why they want me to show them on camera and not just mention them verbally. Because looking at the crystal, you're connecting to its energy. Same thing with the healing spray. Same thing with the, yeah, the sage. So don't underestimate the power of healing, they just said. <laughs> Remote healing is entirely possible. And I know that I've done, I did uh, Reiki healing remotely for years and I saw huge transformations in my clients right during the session and, and, and then off after that as well, especially working with people long-term. So there's something about doing some uh, possibly Reiki or energy healing or clearing. Okay, we're gonna go in with a couple of decks here that they've just showed me. These two, which one start with the, start with the tarot they said, okay. And knocking too, like physical sound or pressure can be healing for energy or clearing of energy too. So what does group number three need to know about living a carefree life here? Um, yeah, they're saying auric cleanse. Nine of swords. Okay, because you've had some stress going on in the mind, the cap didn't fit, right? There was something in the mind. Upper chakras, third eye or crown. They also said throat. This is like a top to bottom sort of thing that they're overhaul. I'm hearing overhaul. I feel like we're going to do some Reiki in this session or in this reading today as well. Group number three. So stick around for that at the end. Four of wands. I'm hearing magical celebration. So building up, they're showing me the tower being built like in, I'm seeing it clairvoyantly like a time lapse of all of these bricks building, building, building. Okay. Rebuilding your auric field. Okay. Yeah. Magic. Group magic. Group healing. Okay. We're all gathered here now. We, are you, like I'm alone sitting in my room channeling this information in this reading. You're probably alone sitting watching this as well on your phone or, or you're on a computer or something. If you're watching on a TV, let me know. I'm always interested to see <laughs> who's watching on TVs. Um, but the, we're all gathered here like you as an individual are separate and all of the group of people who are watching are separate technically but we're actually all gathered beyond time and space by this reading so they're showing me like the group of souls that were gathered here for this group for, for group three four 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 on the recording time i saw that as i was saying it um th there's a reason for it four fours are, are about building Oh yeah, the b building of that tower, the bricks, the foundation, um, working together. They're showing me something. They said harmony and they're showing me the foundations strengthening as we work together. Because when we heal as a group, rather than just alone or even with just one or two people, it's like any any more than three and, and things start to build momentum. The energy expands exponentially and they, they want you to know that because you may have been trying to go this alone or do it in a way that was leaving you feeling depleted. I'm hearing no growth and they're showing me the tree in the winter time with like no leaves on it. Okay. I, I heard stressful situation and they're saying come together. So they said, take back your power. Group number four, uh, three. I don't know why I want to say four because five, five, five on the record. You're getting a lot of angel activation, actual activation codes. The emperor take back your power. Yeah, they did say that. Take back your power. It's imperative, they're saying. So your energy, what's going on in your energy field? Group number three, what is going on? Let me take a look. Eight of cups. So hmm, yeah, they keep showing me the trees and there's two trees in this one that are growing side by side. Something about a partnership, because I, I was mentioning like if you've been trying to do this alone or you've been working on it with one other person, they're saying maybe collaborating with additional people or groups is going to be easier. This one's alone. This one's with one other person. Or maybe you feel like you have responsibility over someone. This is kind of like single mom energy that it's giving me. Trying to do it all by yourself. This is the father archetype. I just mentioned single mother and I just realized the emperor is the father. 
in the tarot. So, hmm. Partnership. Something about, yeah, having the, the resources you need, the support you need, the information too, they're saying. Ten of Swords. Okay, so group number three. To live a carefree life, you you need to replenish your energy because you, you've been spent. Spent. You've spent too much of your energy, they're saying, or your energy has been spent. Knight of Wands. So to do this, first of all, we're going to do some energy work. Second of all, they want you to take bold steps. I just heard that. Take bold steps. Uh, to face what has eluded you. I don't know what has eluded you. Three of Swords. The healing you seek has eluded you. They're showing me something about information. They keep I keep seeing the books. There was the, the journal here. And they were showing me the books in, in this card as well. Like all around her. Something about books, information, resources, a library. Akashic could be part of this as well. Akashic library. Clearing out your soul blueprint. Yeah, that clears your energy field. I used to do Akashic readings, soul realignment work as well. And I would see that energetically because I can do both. I, I would do an Akashic clearing on someone and then I would look at their auric field and it would be different than when I saw them clairvoyantly before. Um, and energetically it can help to repair any any tears or deficits or overextension or karmic patterns in the field. King of Swords, the book again, pointing at the book. You, there's some kind of information you need. It's in your Akash. It's in your Akash. So accessing that is going to let you live a more carefree, abundant life, group number three, because it's not going to, um, it's not going to be influencing your, in, uh, no, your body, no, your soul. Ooh. Okay. Seven the chariot this way that way which way are you going to go you've got options here light or dark path light or dark having the information to know which path to choose is imperative here because there is there is some kind of a, a journey they're saying that you've been on Six of Swords, yeah. There's a there's a lot of you traveling, like eight of eight of whoops, eight of cups, six of swords, wheel of fortune on the bottom. Okay, yeah, the home, the book. I just the, they keep showing me the book. The book is a very important symbolism here for you. Maybe doing some bibliomancy. I heard I heard scrying. Scrying is a form of um, clairvoyant. Uh, yeah, it's like clairvoyant receiving of messages. Actually, technically, I, I scry in all my readings because I'm seeing clairvoyantly images, but there's different types. Like crystal balls are scrying, black mirrors, scrying bowls of water. You can scry in those scrying, cloud scrying, you know, all of that. But they're showing me you moving in a different direction. And this is going to be upcoming. They're saying something about the near future, upcoming few months, next three months next three months something is shifting and changing big time for you group number three your home and information about something here they're showing me that pot of gold hmm what is this okay they said go in with this deck now so maybe there's going to be more information coming out here because this feels, yeah, it feels like there was something hidden in your soul, your soul blueprint that you didn't see or you weren't aware of. And coming together in this group way, is, is it's shifting this for you. It's very destined. It's very destined. Faded. Mm, those are slightly different, but kind of the same thing. And it's propelling you into a new direction. There's a crossroads that's coming up for you, group number three, and it's going to make things easier, they're saying. So if you, they want you to have this healing so that it will be easier for you to make the decision. And it's not even going to feel like a crossroads the way they're showing it to me. It's almost like you're already on the right lane and the crossroads is kind of like a very mild fork in the road. 
and you're just going to keep going on the lane that you're going. So it's not even going to feel like you have come to dead stop and you have to make a decision. It's more like you're already going in that direction. So you've already probably done some healing work. They're saying you wouldn't have been drawn here if you hadn't. Okay. Affirmation. I listen to myself and acknowledge my needs. I assert myself and retain my power. Yeah, the, the, retaining your power, taking your power back. I am brave and gentle. I don't have to be afraid of others. I respect myself and am respected by others. One, two, three, four on the recording time. That's steps forward, movement forward, progression. So connecting with others can help you do this. Respecting yourself enough to be able to connect with others in a way that is mutually empowering and beneficial. This is going to help you call back your power, they're saying. Call back your power. Choice. And it was in reverse. So it's like choice is important here, but it's like you've already made the choice. The reverse position there is telling me it's like the past tense. You've already made the choice. You're already in the right lane. You're already going on that path. And it's a good path to be on. They want you on that path because it gets you out of lack, gets you out of stress and burnout. It gets you out of this auric field dysregulation they're saying and it's helping you to grow overcoming challenges they showed me the rocks mountains stone and rock those are significant things stone rock and trees this is like earth element earth element yeah something about that is very powerful here for you it's about the stability of your home this could even be about the home as like globally like the earth your feeling of connection and belonging in the human collective. Whoa. Unlocking the knowledge you seek, they're saying. Collective consciousness and healing. Okay. Choice. I choose serenity, light, and positive energy. No matter what I go through, I choose happiness. I rise above fear and direct my thoughts to God. So you are rising above fear here. And it's going to be... It could be connected to other people. Like maybe you have fear of trusting other people. Maybe you have fear of being hurt by other people or drained by other people or, yeah, betrayed, persecuted, misunderstood, abandoned. Hmm. Patterns of choice, they're saying. Patterns of choice leading you in the right direction, in a new direction that is more balanced, harmonious, and a more accurate mirror rather than a portrayal of projection or these distortions that were going on in the mind the fear was a mechanism that was controlling you but you're taking back your power through choice inner beauty i open the eyes of my heart and direct my gaze to the light within every being personality and physical appearance are in the image of man beauty and goodness are in the image of god so this is you seeing beyond the physical, beyond the 3D, beyond the, the rock and stone and being able to see the spirit, the nature of a person to discern or determine whether you can trust them, uh, to feel the energy they're saying, feel the energy of the person. But first you have to get out of your own fear and the own, your own distortions because how, how can you accurately see someone if you're looking through a distorted lens? Whether they're good or bad, you're not going to see them clearly because the lens was distorted. And this is what was going on in the rainbow body, in the auric field. And so what you're doing to live a more carefree life here on earth, they keep saying on earth, like something about earth is significant. Maybe you identify as a star seed or somebody who's not a soul that's not necessarily from earth or you've, you've, maybe you're new to earth just came here and then needing to learn to reconnect to this soul level beauty positive thinking my life is full of small patches of light i direct my thoughts to that which brings me well-being i place what is weighty for me into the hands of the universe little by little the light awakens in my being and i find serenity so the opposite of the knight of swords or sorry um oh knight of swords i didn't mean to say that i meant nine of swords but Oh, they're showing me one of these things is not like the other. Knight of Swords, Nine of Swords. The Knight of Swords is like clarity of thought, fast action, movement, propelling you forward. The clarity you seek, tempered by not reacting. That's what Spirit just said. That's straight channeled. Okay. 
um, and the nine of swords and knight and nine almost sound the same if I say it fast. So again, it's like being able to discern or differentiate in, an, in a, a very nuanced way between different energies and what they mean for you. The nine of swords is stress. It's fearful thinking. It's negative thinking, pessimism. So you've got positive thinking, which is the opposite. That's the key. They just said, that's the key. The information you seek is in the positive perspective. Vitality. I am a being of light. I accept the divine energy in my body and every one of my cells regenerates. As you do energetic healing, your physical body regenerates too. They're connected. They're not separate. They're one thing. It's just body, mind, soul. It's like different, different sides of the same thing. And so what you're doing here, group number three, in living a more carefree life, what Spirit's recommending is that you embrace this new journey where you are seeing things optimistically, but not delusionally. So you're taking off the rose-colored glasses and you're seeing things very clearly for what they are. They, they keep saying the word nuanced. You're, be, you're being able to see the nuance and it's because you're clearing or shifting something in your auric field. And we're going to do some work on that in a second. But they're showing me the increase in vitality allows you to unlock this inner beauty and it's going to attract you to the people and the situations i just heard situations faded they're saying faded situations on your path that are going to serve you and benefit you in this healing so not only are you doing this healing for yourself but you're also going to benefit from mutual healing group healing they keep saying group healing and it's not just in this reading so you may be drawn into or guided towards situations where you're in a group of people and you're all doing some kind of healing maybe it's like a group exercise class or it's like a maybe it's like a group meditation even but there's so many ways this could play out. They're just showing me groups of people gathered under one roof with the intention of healing one another. Whether this is conscious or not, for some it's going to be subconscious. For some it's just the higher selves drawing you together with these people because it's mutually beneficial and healing. They just said light body activations. Light body activations. Affirm it and it shall be so. That's what they said. Okay. They said, go ahead with the healing now. Okay. So for those of you who would like to receive this healing today, feel free to nod your head, consent or say yes in your head, or just open your heart, whatever feels right for you. If you do not wish to consent to this healing, it's not for you at this time, or you don't want it, that's fine. Just, just say no or click off or both or whatever you want to do. I respect any and all needs. Um, and sometimes this isn't what you need and that's fine. So trust yourself to feel into that nuance and uh, receive if it, if it feels right. Okay, so for your greatest and highest good, we're going to be bringing through some energy activations today for you, group number three, to help support you in your work as a healer. I just, that just channeled right out my mouth. Your work as a healer. Okay, group three, you're a healer. So unlocking that gift, whether you're doing it directly or indirectly or what, you're a healer. People who come into contact with you heal, which means that you need to keep up your own healing uh, because it, it, it's a lot, right? It's a lot. That's probably why the Ten of Swords was there. So I'm hearing transcendence, transcendence of past patterns, karmic field readjustment. They're saying something about karmic, karmic field readjustment, freedom from past patterns, if you felt called to group number two, we did healing in that one as well. And it was talking a lot about the physical body. Uh, I just saw that come into mind. So that could be significant for some of you. Okay. Uh, let's do, nope. Okay. We're doing an attunement, attunement and activation. Frequency shifting. They're, sh they're showing me, oh, I almost said shame, shaming okay so re removing shame releasing releasing shame not removing releasing what's the difference why is that being differentiated <laughs> they said nuance <laughs> subtle differences subtle differences to remove is to take to release is to give oh thank you clarity i need okay all right yeah that makes sense I learned so much doing these readings. I love it. Okay. 
So bringing through the highest light clarity of all, they're showing me Christ consciousness, light of the heart, light of my life, light up your life, they said, light up your life. Um, Christ gathered people together in groups as well for healing. Yes. Perhaps you, group number three, I, I opened my eyes and it was two, 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 two. Perhaps you, group number three, are meant to gather people together, whether you realize that or not. They're showing me crowds of people. Like if you are called to a particular place and there's a crowd of people, it's because you're healing the souls who have uh, at the higher self level consented to being in your auric field. Even if, even if you are like a hundred feet away from them, they're still getting that. And they're saying you can do this more directly by gathering people together with the intention to heal. So for some of you in this group, you are actual healers and you're meant to be doing that. Or if you already are, this is just confirmation. But um, you're going to be gathering groups, large groups, they're saying hundreds, thousands. Oh my God. Oh, I did just hear millions. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. Group number three, who are you? <laughs> you guys are real powerful, but that's why they want you to stand in your power because you got a lot of, you got a lot of power. You got a lot of responsibility to, to use with that power. You guys know, if you're not new to the channel, my favorite quote of all time, with great power comes great responsibility. Oh, I just got some Marvel cards in the mail or in the, uh, in my grocery order yesterday. Maybe we should do those Marvel cards. Should I grab them? A little bonus extra reading for you guys after we do the healing? Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll do that. They came up for a reason, so I'll go grab those. They're in the living room. So let me just finish the healing here for you today. <sighs> release, 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 release. Okay, I'm going to just do a little bit of picking. There's something in the solar plexus that got stuck. Oh, yeah, that's your power center. Let me just pull that. A little bit and let you I'm like pulling on a thread I'm not going to pull it all the way out I'm just going to pull on that thread so that you can release it and make it easier like get it a little closer to the release point for you yeah but you can do that on your own you're powerful they keep saying you're powerful group number three so own that power they're showing me courage strength bravery knight of wands like you're a, you're a knight knight in shining armor for other people <laughs> Okay. Light armor. Ooh, light body. They said light body activations. Light armor. Yeah. Wearing your light armor. They said go get the other cards. Okay, I'll be right back. One sec. I'm so stoked on these cards like it was such a cool thing they just added it to my to my cart superstore is doing like a promotion right now with marvel so anyway let's take a look at what comes up i feel that one groot i am groot oh i am affirmations could be powerful in retrieval of your power affirmation yeah affirming your power i am be, so be very conscientious and discerning about what you say after you say I am. Make sure it's I am powerful. I am healing. I am a healer. I am abundant. I am divinely led and guided. I am supported by groups of people who really resonate with me and whom I really resonate with. I am a teacher, I just heard. I am a positive person. I see the world through positive eyes. Power, look at, he's got really high power too. Really high power, so he's super strong. Oh, they were showing us the trees. <laughs> I forgot that that's what, you know, I get so into flow that sometimes I don't remember what the reading is even about. But the trees were significant and Groot is literally like a tree man. And he's super powerful. And he protects the, the group of them yeah, and I wanted to put it here on the Four of Wands. So it's like a group thing. Oh, two people, him and Rocket were partners. And the two of them enter into the group, the Guardians of the Galaxy. 
Group number three, I did mention star seeds. You guys are star seeds and you've probably been partnered up with someone recently or you will come into contact with this other person and that is like a that's like an activation to get you into these other groups of people who you're meant to be with because you all have this same starseed mission that you're here to do healing work or you're here here to protect people because that's what the knight in shining armor was about to activate people to their own protection i just heard yeah, because healers don't heal people. Healers activate others to heal themselves. And same thing with protection. Like you're not meant to protect other people. You're meant to, I mean, yes, to a degree, but you're, you're also meant to activate them so they can protect themselves. That's the true power of friendship I just heard. Oh, friendship. Friendship is magic. My little pony could be significant. Quake intelligence power she's got low power so again it's like um an earthquake in the in the mind has been something that destabilized you oh yeah earthquake literally they were showing us like stone and rock and earth i'm hearing stronger than the foundations of the earth that's a lord of the rings quote falcon intelligence power and courage he's got a lot of courage oh he, he's shiny too I used to love Pokemon cards and like shiny cards were my favorite, <laughs> obviously, but I just like shiny things. And you got Teenage Groot too. He's really powerful. Yeah, same same level of power, even when you were younger. But you're seeing things through different eyes now. The falcon is like a bird's eye view. So you're, you're able to fly up above the earth to see this bird's eye view through your development and you help other people to develop as well. The number 72 standing out to me, 7 and 2 is 9, 79, yeah, 7, 8, 9, maybe progression, evolution, maturation, going from one state of being to the next, they're saying, and plus two power. <laughs> this is all about power for you, group number three. It's, that's your vitality. It's green. It's green like, um, like this energy is green and this is like the Hulk, so it's green. Mm -hmm. your power is increasing right now you're going through a period of powerful activation mantis and she's an empath did i mention that you guys are an empath she can she can control other people's emotions i can't remember if this was that if, if i mentioned empath in this group or in group two because i think i did both because they, they felt group group two and three you guys have felt similar but different and again they're saying nuance <laughs> It's like two sides of the same coin, different, but the same. Okay. So Mantis being able to, oh, they said being able to put someone to sleep and I, they're showing me the scene where she puts, who does she put to sleep? I can't remember, but she puts someone to sleep. You were put to sleep, group number three. But there's a remembrance, there's an awakening awareness that's coming back from like your journal, your personal journal. That's the book they're they're talking about here. And it's not like a physical journal. This is like your soul a, a blueprint. It's in your it's the black box of the soul, you know, like black boxes on airplanes that record everything. That's your Akashic record. There's something in that that you were put to sleep. You didn't know your true power. You're awakening your power. Your gifts are coming online more so than ever before if you're already a, if you're already a light worker if you're already doing this stuff it's even more now than ever before iron man stepping into this role because you can i'm hearing if i don't do it who will well there's lots of other people who will but that doesn't mean that you are not uh, a huge pivotal pivotal i'm hearing pivotal part of this and iron man no spoilers if you haven't seen the full series or the movies but iron man plays a pivotal role in the ending of of this war of a war so if it wasn't for him everything would have been destroyed so one person can make a difference you do make a difference group number three more than you know goosebumps confirmation more than you know. And it's about stepping into this level of responsibility because Iron Man, like uh, Tony Stark had to really 
embrace the responsibility to, to understand the gravity of using this power because he had a lot of power to begin with but he was kind of using it in a way that wasn't necessarily the best and then he he realized that to have that level of power he needed to use it wisely he needed to help people he needed to protect and he, again it's like the suit of armor oh yeah the suit of armor I am, again, I am Iron Man. I am Groot. What you say I am is the armor that you are placing on yourself. They're showing me shielding. White light. They're showing me white light shielding. I am protected by the light. I am that I am. I am that light. It is not separate from me. I am that. And it's like, it's, it's cool what they're showing me clairvoyantly. Oh yeah, rocket raccoon. Yeah, the friends. So that you can beat Thanos. <laughs> but yeah, no, they're showing me like, oh my God, on the bottom here, shining light. Did I show you guys that? I just noticed it. My desire to improve myself transforms fear into strength. I raise my thoughts above doubt and find faith in the goodness of the universe. I love and accept myself as a soul and I discover the light that dwells in me. This is just such beautiful confirmation. I love this so much. So group number, group number three, this is like really, really powerful. You're stepping into your light and it's activating to a whole another level because you're unlocking these parts of the self that hold so much power for you. You're able to feel more deeply. You're able to see more clairvoyantly. You're able to choose roots that are more stable. You're able to embrace physical change in a way that doesn't completely disorient or disrupt your life. You're able to protect yourself and to serve others in a way that is mutually empowering and beneficial and that doesn't drain you or leave you worse for wear, they're saying. So affirm it. Increase your power today and move forward with great benefits to the collective. That's what Spirit just said. That all channeled out. Move forward with great benefits to the collective. Serving the whole serves you as well. You are one. We are one. Okay, group number three. I think I will leave it there. This was an extra special reading for you. If you were drawn here, you are very powerful. Please know that and remember that. I'm sending you so much love, light, and activations for your greatest and highest good. And of course, the greatest and highest good of the collective. Okay, um, seal it. They said, okay, one, one more thing. Sorry, just going to seal this up. For your greatest and highest good, protection around your auric field, protection of this reading. Only those who are meant to see this and who are aligned with the highest frequency and intention of this reading will be drawn to it. I'm setting the intention for that because this reading is like extra powerful. All my readings are powerful, but this one is like next level. So only, only the souls who are aligned with the totality of the I am presence will be drawn to this reading. Only souls who are in alignment with service to humanity, service to others, and the collective ascension of the earth will be drawn to this reading. And so it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love, love, love. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for being here and for being a protector, a guardian of the galaxy in this neck of the woods of the solar system <laughs> here on planet Earth. I love you guys so much and appreciate your connection here with me today. If you guys are looking to go deeper or receive additional activations or healing, I feel like you guys don't really need it, but I'm going to throw it out there if you resonate. I am offering readings right now. It's video format just like this sent to your email. The link to my website, it's tarotandbeyond.com is in the description box below. And if you want to dive deeper here on the channel, we do dive really deep, especially if you resonate with this reading and you're not a member, we dive deeper on the member side of the channel with more of these lightworker starseed type readings, more in-depth tutorial type stuff as well. And um, we do monthly live streams, activations and healing and collective updates for the soul family and collective members of the, the, the earth tribe <laughs> here um, on the channel as well. You can check out the information and details about membership in the description box as well. All right, guys, I love you. Many blessings, and we'll see you in the next reading. Love and light. Bye.